Jace Lejeune from Gridiron Football here with Hammond Head Football Coach Dorset Buckles. Coach, always a pleasure talking with you as always. Uh, talking about your scrimmage here against East Ascension, a really good measuring stick for y'all. Uh, talk about how really the Tornadoes really stuck up against a physical team like East Ascension. Well, East Ascension is definitely a physical team. Um, we came here with the mindset that we wanted to dominate. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the win, um, but we no excuses. I mean, nothing against um, EA because they're a very, very good team. Uh, we had some injuries um, be before the, before this game, um, maybe five starters out, and um, it kind of affected us a little bit, but I'm glad to see that the, um, that the backup guys really stepped up. So I really appreciate that. So we saw some bright spots. So um, um, one thing about this here, this game doesn't mean anything, you know, just bragging right. So uh, we're going to move forward, and, and we're going to definitely um, have a great season this year. You mentioned uh, establishing the depth, getting the back of some good work, but what are some other things that you like tonight, and what are some things that you feel like that y'all need to take the next step and improve on that for tonight? Well, with a young quarterback, you know, um, I mean, I, I saw some great things. He's a freshman, you know, I mean, he's going to have his bumps and bruises, um, but for the most part, you know, I mean, um, there's some things that we can fix, you know. Like I say, this is just a scrimmage game, so it doesn't mean nothing um, defensively. You know, we made some plays, but um, there's some other things that we got to go work on as well, so like I say, we'll definitely get it done. And Coach, who are some guys that we should keep an eye out for this year? And uh, kind keep, of keep an eye on um, Kenyatta Fleet, um, um, Jermaine Davis, um, just defensive guys and um, offensive guys, both. Um, you, you saw, I don't, I don't know how many yards it was, but um, Jermaine Davis ran for a long touchdown. Um, speed kills, you know, we all know that. Um, Kenyatta Fleet scored a touchdown as well. So uh, we're just going to keep grinding, man. Like I say, um, we, we – we got a, the running back, Eli Johnson. I mean, um, he didn't break out this this week, but look out for Eli Johnson. He's coming. What y'all got coming up in the Jamboree and uh, coming up uh, next for y'all? What's uh, next on the schedule so for y'all? So we have Live Oak um, in Live Oak. You know, um, like I said, we're going to break down the film on tomorrow, you know, and get prepared on Monday. And uh, last question, Coach, what was just your message to your team uh, just after uh, you're going through it, uh, through the scrimmage and well, first what been, what out there? What I've been there. hearing is um, that EA, um, you know, they feel like they're a championship team. So, and I told them if, if, if they're doing that well, I mean, I feel like, you know, we should step up and feel like we can make it to wherever as well, the highest, you know, just be the standard. So that's what we always gonna continue to do, just be the standard and, um, you know, just know that we can play with anybody. And coach, last question, uh, shout out the fans and give them, uh, you know, just what they, should they expect uh, as far as the brand of football this year for y'all? Well, I think the fans gonna uh, be excited. You know, I mean, uh, we just pray that we stay safe. You know, um, no more injuries. Um, our quarterback, um, other freshman quarterback, Dakota, um, he actually broke his hand tonight. So, you know, um, I mean, we like I say, if we stay, if we stay healthy, we we'll have a great, a great year. Well, I know you're doing a great job with the program, Coach. I made the playoffs last year. Y'all making some really good strides. Uh, Hammond, looking forward to seeing what y'all do in 2023, Coach. Most definitely. Most definitely. Thank you so much.